Greetings audience, I'm Boomstick, and this is the Mega XL Gauntlet from Maritime Foam. <laughs> Special thank you to all my lovely patrons, especially Nerf Nothing for being an amazing pro patron. The Mega XL Gauntlet is a 3D printed flywheel blaster that fires Mega XL darts that was designed by Maritime Foam and Foam Blasted. This Mega XL Gauntlet was also built by Maritime Foam and I gotta say the print quality is quite good. I am very impressed with the print quality from Maritime Foam. The Mega XL Gauntlet features an on-off switch, a voltmeter despite the fact that mine is currently shorted, and a couple of different we'll call them mag options. Mine is currently the single shot option but he also has a double shot and I believe a couple other options as well. The Mega XL Gauntlet uses a two-stage trigger, meaning you half pull the rev and full pull the fire. You do need a rather small 3S LiPo to fit in the compartment inside the back of the Mega XL Gauntlet. I don't have to struggle too much using this specific LiPo, but you definitely want to keep that in mind when picking one up. The Mega XL Gauntlet comes in a variety of different configurations. You can get it in the, obviously, standard gauntlet configuration, or you could use it as a rail mounted Mega XL blaster or run it by itself with this nice little handle, which the switch that you use also just slots into. There are a couple of options that I do not have in this model, one of which being the rail mounted trigger, which I do plan on updating mine to. And I believe Maritime Foam is still working on the Mega XL Blaster to bring you more and more features. So definitely keep an eye on their social media to keep up to date with what's going on with the Mega XL Gauntlet. Changing between the Gauntlet configuration and the others is quite simple. There are two screws on the bottom which you just unscrew, pop up the Gauntlet, and attach your configuration of choice. The Picatinny rail is definitely the easiest since it's the smallest piece. I do think a slightly larger rail adapter could be beneficial just for stability and give the piece a bit more durability. And if you do not have the rail mount for the trigger, you will need to put one of the gauntlet straps around part of the blaster to attach the trigger in the best location for you to be able to utilize it. The grip mount is a little trickier as you do have to slide the trigger into the grip and do a little bit of wire management there. It's not hard, but it is something you have to be aware of. I will admit that I'm not able to use the bottom hole of the grip because the wire wrap gets in the way. I think that's just due to time and the wrap loosening a bit in places. It doesn't affect the performance, but it is something of note. You also wanna make sure that the wires are far enough out of the way so you can pull the trigger and have it come back completely without it getting snagged on any of the wires. Changing out the mags is a bit of a pain as they are friction held in place and it is a very tight friction. However, you can just notch it into place and then just smack it the rest of the way in. I'm not sure how durable or quick this will be if you want to change them out frequently, but it is possible. You can get yourself a pre-built Mega XL gauntlet through Maritime Foam, or if you don't feel like waiting in line, you can go ahead and grab the files yourself from Maritime Foam's Etsy and print one out yourself. The propulsion method of the Mega XL is actually quite interesting because it uses three full-size flywheels. You've got the worker smooths, which are propelling the Mega XL dart with a serrated flywheel 
that actually acts as the pusher pushing it into the flywheels. Now I'll admit on running this in the field in its multiple configurations, I will say that I prefer the blaster mounted Mega XL method of using it as I found that it was the easiest way to be able to carry it with me without it being a bit of extra bulk either on my wrist or as a secondary and it allowed me to just keep aiming with the blaster. Now I will say on smaller blasters it did cause an issue of the fact that the Mega XL Gauntlet is actually rather bulky. Obviously it's firing Mega XL darts so it's obviously going to be a bit of a Mega XL size blaster. So if you're running a smaller blaster, like say one of the Flycore builds, like I was running it on my Jacuzzi at APOC, I had the issue of, I tended to aim with the Mega XL gauntlet, so my shots ended up going lower because my blaster was now much higher. And so I naturally wanted to aim with the top of the blaster like I usually do, but this made my blaster much higher. So obviously if you want to attach this to a smaller blaster, you're gonna want to keep that in mind when you're aiming. But I will say if you get a nice size blaster, for example, I ran this on my Spectrum with the Typhon kit on it, and it was perfect. Now I will say if you want to undermount it or side mount it like I did on my blaster, you're going to need the single shot Mega XL I guess we'll call them a mag because if you're using the standard mag well that the Mega XL gauntlet comes with, uh, that's gravity fed and it holds the dart in at the top. So if you don't have pressure against the bottom dart, it's obviously not going to fire. Now with the single shot, which is what I was running, uh, the way that it's held in and the darts are held in both at the top and in the midway point, allowing it to put pressure on the Mega XL dart, allowing it to go into the flywheels pretty seamlessly, you're able to undermount it underneath a blaster, which for something this bulky is actually kind of nice to be able to have that right where your hand is holding the blaster and allowing you to kind of carry the extra weight while also not having it be right in the way of your sights. So that was definitely my preferred way to run the Mega XL Gauntlet and it performed beautifully. I cannot sing the praises of the Mega XL Gauntlet enough because it was just such a fun blaster to run. And dealing with shields, specials, anything of that sort, it really is perfect to have it right on you. I had at least one occasion where I was surprised by a Jedi at APOC and I panic fired my Mega XL gauntlet, which saved my life because Jedi at APOC could only be tagged out by larger ammo. So having that emergency Mega XL was a very big help in dealing with those. So if you have games where you have shields or specials or anything of that sort, the Mega XL Gauntlet is so valuable to have. Now I did also run the Mega XL Gauntlet in its uh, grip configuration where it was kind of a solo blaster where the trigger goes in the grip and you're able to fire it that way and it was also a ton of fun. There was one moment where I didn't have time to attach it to my Nightingale so I just threw it in my dump pouch for one of the Defend the Core games at the DMV Nerfers and I don't think I actually made any of the shots but it was really nice to have and I did come close a couple of times into scoring extra points because larger ammo, if you get it into the core, actually is worth more points. Now speaking of accuracy, that is where the Mega XL Gauntlet does struggle a little bit. Now it's not really a fault of the blaster itself as much as it is the fault of the darts. Mega XL darts, similar to the original Mega darts, because the way they're designed, are rather inaccurate darts which is why a lot of people use the <laughs> Mega AccuStrike darts or the AccuFake Mega darts, and which perform much more accurately, as the name implies, but the Mega XL darts that we have are still rather inaccurate. So long range firing of the Mega XL dart, despite it hitting 90 FPS out of a, such a tiny package, which is great, the accuracy is pretty terrible. It's kind of a crapshoot of whether or not you're going to be kind of Hail Marying shots out there. So I mean, I've taken many Hail Mary shots. I've gotten close a lot of times, but it is incredibly difficult 
to get those long range shots while firing Mega XL. Again, this is an issue of the darts themselves and the ammo that you're firing with the Mega XL gauntlet and not necessarily the blaster itself. But obviously it fires Mega XL and so that is going to be a big factor. After firing the Mega XL darts a couple of times, you will notice that there is a decent bit of wear on them. So keep that in mind. I also had a few times where I accidentally bumped the trigger firing a dart. So definitely watch the fingers when holding your blaster. As far as comfort goes, I do find that it does sit fairly comfortably on the wrist. I've used several different gauntlets in my time in the hobby, and this is definitely one of the more comfortable ones that I've had to wear. The way that they designed the gauntlet with the wider ridges here that going out, I do find that they work rather well. Obviously, it's not the most comfortable because of the way that the gauntlets are, so if you wanted to wear long sleeves under it, I think that might make it a bit more comfortable, but at the same time, might make it slide around a bit more. These latches that Maritime Foam is using are perfect, and I definitely want to use these kind of style of latches more when I attempt more gauntlet style blasters. So overall, it is a rather functional blaster. Now you can also have the switch be on your wrist if you need a two-handed blaster or something, but you still wanna carry it on you, but you don't feel like holding the switch in your hand. I did not find that to be the most useful. However, I know Maritime Foam has run it, so it does work. I just found it to be less comfortable for my use cases. I prefer to just carry it in my hand. But again, as I said earlier, I kind of prefer it as either an attachment on a blaster or as a standalone blaster, not just on my wrist. And that does have a lot to do with the Mega XL is already inaccurate. I find trying to aim off the wrist to be incredibly difficult. Because when you hold out your arm, you're aiming at someone in front of you, you tend to have your arm at a bit of an angle. So you got to keep in mind that you got to kind of keep it straight. And the aiming required to shoot something off your wrist, I find to be much more difficult. That could be a me issue, a practice issue. It could be a lot of things. But in my experience, it was much more of a hassle than I thought worth it. As far as the blaster looks, I actually do really like the design of the Mega XL Gauntlet. It has a lot of... It has a good shape to it. It doesn't feel overly boxy despite being essentially, I'm gonna call it a brick with flywheels on the front of it, but the way that they designed it does make it look, in my opinion, really good. I will say some of the most fun I've had is during the Steely Ammo Rounds running the Mega XL Gauntlet because it allows me to hold multiple shots of Mega XL ammo and it hits right around 90 FPS. It is one of the more powerful blasters on the field firing Mega XL. So even though it's not very accurate, it definitely catches people pretty off guard because my distance is usually a good bit farther than some of the other Mega XL blasters. And the fact that uh, I'm able to quickly fire that second shot, especially in the, well, if you run it in the standard one, you're firing a bit of a shotgun blast of Mega XL, but uh, running as a single, it's just a simple matter of fire, push down, fire, and those two immediate shots. It's incredibly useful in those situations, not to mention the amount of fun I had running it with a big shield. One of my locals let me borrow one of their mesh shields, and it was just a ridiculous amount of fun running the Mega XL blaster with the shield. It, the, the best way to describe the Mega XL Gauntlet is it is so much fun. This is the kind of nerfing experience that I love. Like, I love this kind of fun, gimmicky, but still, in my opinion, practical design that utilizes a ammo type that the community does really love and has fun with. But so having said that, let's bring down our scoreboard. Now... For what the Mega XL Gauntlet is, so as a mountable blaster, whether on your wrist or on your blaster or as a secondary, firing Mega XL in situations where Mega XL does something, I'm going to rate it here. And my argument is because of what it is and what it's trying to do, I do think that this is probably one of the most competitive Mega XL blasters you can get right now. And a tiny package compared to what other Mega XL blasters are. Like this might be, I take that back. <laughs> Obviously the Mighty Mama exists and a couple of the other larger Little Rocket platforms do fire Mega XL. They are a good bit slower and have some of the same accuracy issues, but in my opinion, the extra size you get out of this compared to a Money Mama, 
I think this is well worth it. Now, if you don't want to have a flywheel blaster that you have to worry about revving and anything like that, and you just like to be able to have a spring that's at the ready so you can fire it off whenever you want, sure, go with the Mighty Mama. But I personally, I, I will choose this every time because this is amazing. But here's the thing. You don't ha just have to choose between them. You could do both. You know, I had to try this at least once. So yes, this is my rating for this. I absolutely love the Mega XL Gauntlet and I very much look forward to seeing what else Foam Blasted and Maritime Foam do together. Like, the stuff that I've been seeing them work on really gives me a lot of joy in the hobby because like, yes, you see all those competitive blasters out there that are really great and really fun to run, but seeing the fun that comes out of Maritime Foam and Foam Blast's designs this is what I love about the hobby. Like this is exactly what I love seeing in the hobby. And I will absolutely be continuing to support their designs in the future. I'm probably gonna print a couple of Mega XL gauntlets, see how many I can fit on one blaster because this is ridiculously fun. And this will not be leaving my loadout anytime soon. It might not be on my wrist, it might not be on my blaster, but uh, it'll be there somewhere because this is by far one of my favorite builds of the year. So definitely let me know what you all think of the Mega XL Gauntlet because I think it's amazingly fun. I really want to know what you all have to say about it. So let me know your thoughts. And you know what? Like, if you like the video, give it a like. If you want to see more content from me, hit subscribe. And uh, hey, you know what? There's going to be a video popping up that uh, you might want to check out. So stay to the end. <laughs> So until next time, I've been Boomstick, and I'll see you on the field.